Lawrence Maruti here. I'm um, sitting, uh, the artistic director of Brody Festival is putting on a shirt. I'm going to be speaking to him today. Uh, some people have called him a genius. Other people have called him the fifth element, the supreme being who will unite all the planets. Uh, I just call him Squidgy. So he'll be here in a minute. We're going to have a chat to Narayana. Much too old to play the victim of the night You get beyond the concept of what is wrong and right And the miracle of it all is a lovely night When we finally break the spell out and I've been lucky enough to interrupt the very, very busy day of the Bodhi Festival artistic director Terry MacArthur, who's also known as Narayan. Hi Terry. How you doing there? And what do you want me to call you? <laughs> well, the vision was to kind of create a festival that was a celebration of unity consciousness and, and by that I mean a festival that was kind of inclusive, a festival that was participatory and a festival that was like you and me and all of us together kind of festival. So it wasn't a festival about consumption, it was a festival about uncovering, a festival about meeting each other in new ways, of listening to each other of respecting each other, of learning to love each other in, in, a, in a new contextual way. So I think Bodhi Festival itself is a reflection of a new kind of spiritual shift and lift out there in, in, in festival land. I think the, the, the old paradigm festival of sex, drugs and rock and roll is shifting. I think there's a, people are coming to a festival looking for a, another kind of experience, another kind of awakening, another kind of gathering. And I think Bodhi Festival is a reflection of something that's happening all around the world. The, uh, the festival venue itself, the Abode of Peace, it's an extraordinary um, place, you know, to, to walk into what was once a, a, a department store, a David Jones department store, up four levels, and kind of transform that space into an interactive festival experience and actually see that process coming together now, that, that's been, been a real eye-opener for me. Yeah. Um, the incredible uh, place of learning and joining in and um, you know, pushing, the, pushing the growing edge. Pushing the growing edge. <laughs> that, that way you know this is YouTube. <laughs> no, you know, you know it's Bodhi TV because I'm just taking a quick shot of my socks. Yeah, by donation, I think it's it's been uh, making of the festival really. I think it's it's uh, it's an invitation that that's been made from the heart to other people's hearts, and um, the response has been incredible. I get ah, oh, that's great. That's great. And how, how incredible? How how many registrations have you got? Going up, up, and up, and up. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Up, hang on, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is a serious question. So tell me, Narayan, how many registrations do you have for the Bodhi Festival? Well, I can tell you that it's more than one. <laughs> it's more than ten. It's more than a hundred. It's more than a thousand. In fact, it's many thousands. Okay. Oh. Stepping in and out. Much too old to play the victim of the night. In all seriousness, it's really important to register to ensure that uh, uh, when you register, you've got access to everything in the festival. That's all falls to the spiritual department store. You get access to on a first come, first serve basis. That's the other part of the equation. Have a ticket, or if you can't get a ticket because uh, you know we, we we reach the cap of people who can you know physically get in the building. What then? Well, that's the beauty of the ground floor. It's open to everyone. You don't you don't need a uh, uh, a, a wristband or a pass to the ground floor. You can, everyone's welcome to come and there's plenty of activity happening on that ground floor um, day and into the evening. The festival's more an invitation. So, okay, the pitch of the festival is you're all invited to the festival because it's you and me and all of us together. You had a wand made of your own skin and a voice of cold blue ice. And when I asked him what was the price, he said, I, I don't hand out that kind of advice. He was stepping in and out of shadow and light, 
stepping in and out of Much too old to play the victim